Now, let us move on to the continuous distribution in that the first one is uniform distribution. In uniform distribution, the continuous random variable has constant probability. To understand this, let us take a graph. So, the x axis is the random variable and y axis is the function. Now, for the random variable, there is a limit. So, let us assume that the random variable extends from a to b. So, probably the a is somewhere over here and b could be over here. And this function f of x value is 1 by b minus a as long as the x belongs to the random variable and it is 0 if x does not belong to the random variable. What it means is from a to b is a constant value something like this where this value is basically 1 by b minus a and other than the random variable rest all places the value is 0. So, it touches the x axis. Now, let us understand how do we calculate probability for such sort of a distribution. Generally, the probability asked will be something like this p of x where x is greater than or equal to x1 and less than or equal to x2. So, they give you two points x1, x2. So, for these two points we need to calculate the probability. So, what we can do is we can just calculate the area under the graph. This gives the probability. Now, let us do this mathematically. Probability can be written as integral f of x dx where the integral where the integration is from x1 to x2. Now, when I substitute the values, this is integral x1 to x2 1 by b minus a into dx. This 1 by b minus a is a constant, therefore, it can be taken out of the integral. Now, for this function, there is nothing. We already know integral dx is basically x because we are trying to integrate 1. Integral of 1 is x. So, this can be written as 1 by b minus a. The integration is x and the values to be substituted is x1 to x2. Now, once we substitute x2 minus x1 divided by b minus a. This is the probability. Now, this we can do it in other way as well because the graph is a regular figure. It is basically a rectangle. The probability is area under the graph which is basically the area of rectangle which is length into breadth. Here the length this particular value is x2 minus x1 and what about the breadth this particular value it is 1 by b minus a. Therefore, I can write this as x2 minus x1 into 1 by b minus a which is x2 minus x1 by b minus a. So, either ways either you go by integration or with this you will get the same answer. All right. Now, let us calculate the mean mean or expectation. Expectation of x is integral x f of x dx where this integration extends from negative infinity to positive infinity and the value of uh, x is basically random variable which extends from a to b. Now, let us integrate this though the integration limits are negative infinity to positive infinity, but the domain is only a to b. Therefore, I can rewrite this as negative infinity to a the function plus a to b plus b to positive infinity. In this, this is 0, this is 0. We just need to find out this particular value. Let us do that. Integral a to b x f of x dx. Now, f of x we already know it is 1 by b minus a into dx because it is a constant we can take it out. Now, integration of x dx is x square by 2 therefore, now let us substitute the limits this will be b square by 2 minus a square by 2. 
that is b square minus a square by 2 into b minus a now if we expand b square minus a square it is in this i can cancel b minus a so we are left with a plus b by 2 so from this i can write expectation of x in uniform distribution is a plus b by 2 okay now let's calculate the variance the formula for the variance is v of x is expectation of x square minus expectation of x whole square expectation of x we have calculated so expectation of x square will be a plus b by 2 whole square that is a square plus 2ab plus b square by 4 but expectation of x square we did not calculate so let's do that it is integral a to b x square f of x dx now let's integrate this It turns out to be a square plus ab plus b square by 3. Now let's substitute these two values in the equation. So this can be written as on simplification, it turns out to be a minus b whole square by 12 therefore the variance is a minus b whole square by 12.